We've been playing 100 years of NFL football. And the thing that's been consistent through each of those decades is there typically is no carryover from the previous year. Somehow people begin to think like there was going to be an automatic carryover from the NFC Championship game. You add Kirk Cousins, and then now we're going to the Super Bowl. That's not the way the NFL works. Every team is basically starting from ground zero again. Things like it's all come tumbling down here from Minnesota. I'm tired of losing. I'm just I'm keeping it real. Hey, we got it. All we got is one another. Let's fight for one another. From the beginning to the end. Let's get it going. Here we go. I think sometimes coming into stuff, when you have expectations and you know your ability, um, it can kind of seem unfamiliar. You know, sometimes you don't handle things um, as good as you would have if you just relaxed and went and go play. And I think coming off of last year where we expected to have good things happen um, and it didn't, I think it kind of gave everybody the realization of we don't have to think about, you know, the long term expectations. Um, it's something that you kind of just put in the back of your head and know is there, but it's not set in the forefront. It was a disappointment. Uh, didn't make the playoffs, didn't win the division. Coaches working their tails off, you know, it's Zim sleeping in his office trying to get things perfect. Um, and when we don't, when we don't perform well enough, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a disappointment for us. We lost our identity as a football team. Still had an opportunity to make the playoffs. That's not where we want to be. You know, this is not an organization that settles for eight, seven, and one. <laughs> Well, I've been on teams. I've been on teams that have low expectations and do well. I've been on teams that have high expectations and do poorly. I always harken back to, it's like if you have a bad game, you go back to your fundamentals. You back to what got you here. What, you know, keep it simple. And I think from a team standpoint, the more you go back and just do what you do really well and keep it really simple, the better off you're going to be. Hey, 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 the game itself is so important. You know, we, you know, we wanted to win uh, the the division championship. We wanted to go into the playoffs and whatnot, and that puts a lot of pressure on the football team, uh, on the coaches, and on everybody. We need to go out there each and every play and and know what we're playing for. You know, we're playing for this family. You know, the fans and everything. We love our fans, but. In order to make our fans happy, we need to be happy with them, and then we'll be right. What's up, baby? Come on. If they don't have early success, it's kind of easy to start pointing the fingers. Start. It's kind of easy to to buy into maybe some criticisms that are happening, and so the leaders are going to be really key. Uh, in terms of making sure that they don't allow that to creep in to this team. The NFL has enough pressure. You don't need to put more pressure on yourself. To have that culture in the locker room to come into a group and say, hey, you can lean on each other as brothers to get away from that pressure of having to go perform on Sunday. Go out, practice, grind through your week, go out and then go play. And I think that's the biggest thing for these guys is just to continue to get away from that spotlight as much as they can, lean on each other, and then obviously go perform. I just want to share a couple things with you. I'm going to keep it short, keep it tight. As you go through your, your process right now, it seems like, hey, we're just kind of showing up. We're doing our thing. we got our mini camp. Maybe not that big a deal. It's a big deal. There are 31 other teams right now that are doing the same thing. Everybody's trying to get better. Everybody's trying to get that one bit of edge that's going to make it right for you guys. Bud Grant told me something I've always, I've always taken in my career. Every day, if you're not getting better, you're missing out. Because you're getting better, if you plateau, there are other teams out there that are getting better. So even if you plateau because other teams are getting better, you're losing ground. It's a, it's a grind, guys. It's a grind. But you got to stay focused on it because you've got a really special opportunity this year. I've seen, I've seen a lot of teams, and, um, and I love what, what's going on with this team. Like I say, there's a lot that goes into this production, and you guys are poised to do some really good stuff this year. I want to see you make that happen and achieve it. So, There's a lot of talent on this team. There's a lot of talent on this coaching staff. 
so I think they're poised for some good good uh, things, but those leaders are going to have to really manage that as they go through these, um, again, ups and downs well, like of the season. It's true, man. You guys have done some really good stuff, man. You got keep your core together, you know. I mean, you got some really good things happening here, you know. No pressure. <laughs> I like our players. You know, we don't have a bunch of egomaniacs, and the team reflects that. We've got balance in the team. I think great coaches. I think it's just a, a great atmosphere. Not easy to win in the NFL. It's hard. It's 32 teams. We all draft out of the, we all watch each other's films and no secrets. But every year is a little different. And this will be a little different. One of the things that I'm always preaching to the team is what can you do to make someone else's job more successful? You know, how can you do your job so someone else can have success doing their job? They put the team above themselves. The toughness that they show, the physicality, the, the intelligence, and then going out there and playing every Sunday. You know, they might have little bumps and bruises here, but they say, hey man, I'm playing today. There ain't no way. No one's keeping me out of this game. That's the kind of guys that a lot of these guys are. Hey fellas, hey, this is where we win today. This group right here, right? Full f***ing speed. Give me everything you got today, baby. Let's go. Three, two, three. One, two, three. If you want good things to happen on the football field, you have to do two things. Maintain back field back down, position no, let's go. Let's go. and maintain possession. Don't back down now, let's go. And when you do those two things, it's hard to lose. Hey, let's do what we do. It's clear let's that do do. this team let's do what we do. understands that. Let's do what we do. You know, from a, a defensive football player's point of view, you know, is is what you get up for every morning. Nobody knows how it's going to go. Nobody, you know, we all have hopes and we all are working to make it, make it so, so that, you know, when it comes to this time next year, we're not having regrets or talking about why we need to be better than we were. We have a good football team. It's well ran. It's well coached. We have talented players. We should be a playoff team every year. We should be fighting for the division every year. I believe that Super Bowl aspirations are real. You know, my soul and only purpose is focusing on winning a championship. It's something that's never been done in this organization and you know we talk about it all the time. We want to be the first and I want to be a part of the first. I did have a priest sent me a shirt that says, hey Vikes, just one once before I die. You know, so uh, the fans, everybody that's been involved with the Vikings organization, they've been through so much. They deserve to have that opportunity. The city will go crazy. For real, I honestly think it would explode. <laughs> oh my God, that would be so huge. I think for, for Minnesota, almost like people saying that monkey's on our back. I played in four losing Super Bowls and uh, we had great football teams. It would do wonders for the fans because we finally won the big one. I feel very much a part of this team. That history is so close and so tight that I will certainly feel the, the joy and the excitement of being part of this winning team. Even though I'm retired, when they win, I win. It, it makes everything a lot better. Everybody that I've ever played with or you know, know the ex-Vikings, they all want the same thing. It's the kind of thing that can bring you together, make you stronger, and in this day and age when there are so many forces trying to divide, it's kind of nice to have something that brings us together to unite.